I'm Mara Ray, and I'm here with some makeup products I feel are beautiful for mature women for summer. Let's first start with foundation. Several months ago, I was really struggling with my skin. I broke out in a rash. I was just red, and I had some Ulta points, so I spent a little more money than I typically do and bought this Bye Bye Foundation. The reason I bought it was because this whole line is known for covering up redness, for being friendly for people with rosacea. I'm wearing it in the shade medium. I originally bought a shade up from that. It was just too dark, but I fell in love with the formula. So I went back and bought this. Also, I was breaking out from sunscreens. This did not make me break out, which is miraculous because I have such sensitive skin. I break out with almost every sunscreen. So this is perfect for me for summer. I can get the coverage I'm looking for. It covers any redness that I have beautifully. And I think you'll agree that it gives me a nice amount of coverage. Looks very dewy. Now, something else I love about it is it does not get into my fine lines. So I'm getting sunscreen, I'm getting plumped up skin, I'm getting all the things that I'm looking for for my mature skin. In the summer it is so hot and humid that even those of us that have some dry skin can find that our makeup is melting. It just doesn't hold on to the skin the same way. So you have to be careful which concealers and foundations you choose. Otherwise it can turn into a melted mess. That's why I love these Instant Age Rewind concealers. They really do stay on the skin. They don't move around once you've placed them. I like the brightener for highlighting the face. Uh, if I already am using a bronzer or a blush, say, that is very luminous, I don't really like wearing a highlighter on the cheekbone because then it's just too much for my mature skin, in my opinion, for myself. So I like the brightener because it's more matte, yet gives a lot of light to the skin. Now, as far as my shadows holding on to those, I have to be very careful. My lids are still very oily even though I'll be 56 soon. And this neutralizer, the Instant Age Rewind, not only covers up like the little veins in my eyes, the purple, the dark spots, those kind of things, but also will hold on to the shadows even in this Florida heat. For a long time, I've been in love with the Physicians Formula Butter line. They have so many great products in that line. Well, I picked this up. This is one of their new butter bronzers. This shade is called Sunkiss Bronzer, and I think it works great for my skin tone. I am on the light end of medium, probably just the beginning of medium. And it gives me that glow. It's not glittery. Also, what I like about it, if you have dry skin, you'll love it because it does have a lot of moisture to it to where when it gets to the skin, it almost becomes like a cream product. I like this line because even though it's so moisturizing, it lasts. The pigmentation lasts. It doesn't move around and again can withstand the heat. I find in the summer my brows need a couple of things that a pencil alone will sometimes wear off because it is so hot and humid. I do two things. I like to go in with a pencil and then go in with one of these brow products that will stick more to the hair of the brow. Today I'm using this from Wet n Wild. It's a brow pencil. I love it because it's got the spoolie on one end. This is very inexpensive too. And also the end of it where you're drawing on your brow is sliced at an angle. And I really like that. That's a shade that I've seen on other high-end pencils. So that works really good. I've had this quite a while. And then I recently purchased this from Physicians Formula. This is their brow shaping gel. And I like these gels because it's almost like putting, you know how when you get your hair colored, it coats the hair and your hair is smoother and it gets thicker when you first color it. That's how these gels work. They actually hook onto the hair and thicken it up. And I don't have very thick brow hair, so these work really well for me. Now, what impresses me about this product over others I've tried is the brush itself. It is like a micro brush. I've seen very small brushes like on the Essence. I've used that for a long time. This is so super tiny. I've never seen a brush this small. It really grabs the hair, coats it, and makes your brows look so much thicker. For months, I've been wanting to try the these KKW Beauty shadows because I've heard so many people say they're just like ColourPop and go with ColourPop instead of these. These are mid-price shadows. These were $30. So I have to tell you, in my opinion, they are not the same. I've used ColourPop for years. I love ColourPop. I'm a huge fan. I just bought some more ColourPop recently, but I would say these are a cut above. The shimmers, for one reason, 
work beautifully on my mature eyes. Some shimmers sort of just make them look very creepy. I feel that these don't. And actually, as my eyes get a little more oily during the day, they look even more beautiful. These last, they blend beautifully. So if you're looking for a mid-price shadow with shades that I think work for every day and can go from a day to a night look, I think these are beautiful for summer, these type of shades just give you that summer glow that looks amazing. One of the most challenging makeup products for me in the summer is eyeliner. I find that liners that work beautifully all year just don't hold up too well in the summer with the heat. Some days here it's 98 degrees. So I went and repurchased this for the summer. I love this. I've had it before. It's the Maybelline Lasting Drama. It's a gel, but it's waterproof. It comes with this little brush that just works beautifully. You don't need to buy a separate eye brush. It comes with it. It's bent so that you can really get in the lash line. And also you could do a cat eye with this, but it's beautiful. I love that it comes in brown because I pretty much stick with brown liner these days. So this is one that will hold up during the summer heat. I have been loving this Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. I have trouble with my lashes even showing because my eyes are so deep set. So even though my lashes are an average length, they don't always show up. Thankfully for me, this mascara has not flaked and it doesn't get messy on my eyes, which will help with summer. This is my favorite shape of brush. It's like an hourglass. I find that this brush really grabs the lashes and gives me the look I'm going for. In the summer, I like to go with a nude lip and also something that will really stay in place. So recently, I ordered from Ulta this KKW Beauty Liner in the shade Love. Most days I wear just the liner and it is beautiful. What I like about this liner is it's very creamy, yet it lasts and it doesn't look dry on the lips. Liners are so hard for me as a mature woman. So many of them make my lips look very dry and almost like a prune. <laughs> this doesn't look that way. This looks like a very moist lipstick on the lips and yet it lasts all day, which is so impressive to me. Now, another look I like because I like to switch it up, is I'll go in with this liner and then apply this lipstick from L'Oreal. This is Glowing Nude. I've talked about this before. I've used this for several months. It's from their Age Perfect line, I think. Yes, the Age Perfect line. And it just has a very warm look to it. You have to be careful with nudes. Nudes can make people look very washed out. And this one has enough pigment and the shade that makes you look very healthy and youthful. My favorite lip gloss to top this with is from Milani. This is just amazing. It's called, it's their Nude Shimmer is the shade and this is Keep It Full. And this is their line that sort of plumps the lips. It gives the illusion of them being so much fuller and it's just a fantastic gloss that will give you that beautiful summer glow. Powder is so tricky because you want your makeup to stay in the heat, yet you don't want it to start looking very cakey. I've been talking about for a long time the Loose Powder from Number 7. I absolutely love it, but I recently bought this to put in my purse. This is their setting powder. And it says on the box about blurring lines, and I totally agree with them. I think my lines, my fine lines in my face look much more noticeable before I put the powder on. When I put the powder on, it not only gives a very finished look and holds my makeup in place for many more hours than if I didn't apply powder, but also it blurs fine lines. The winner of last week's giveaway is in the first pinned comment. I know so many of you have written me back and told me how much you love the Beauty Hacks Lip Sleeping Mask, that it's worked great for you. I'm going to be giving two more away this week. If you'll just leave me a comment, all you need to do for the giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and that's it. I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful week.